Hello everybody and welcome back to Sabertooth Computing in our new series, System Maintenance and Cleaning. In our last video we showed you how to clean your liquid cooling unit and today we're going to show you how to clean and maintain your motherboard. Here's our motherboard. It's an Asus Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. It's just standard ATX so that means there's three screws here, three screws here, and then three screws here. You just screw them all down into standoffs to make sure that there's no electrical conduction between your case and the motherboard. It has fan headers placed all over the board really. There's two here, those are both four pins of my dad. There's a three pin fan header there. There's another four pin fan header there. There's two CPU fan headers there. And I believe that's it. You can see it has four dim slots. It's got a passively cooled south bridge. It has PCI Express 2.0 slots. One, two, three, four of them. And then it just has a PCI slot. And then it also has a PCI Express 1X slot. And this is basically used for sound cards and stuff. So here's the rear I.O. of our Asus Sabertooth 990FX motherboard. You can see here, it has a PS2 combo mouse keyboard port. These are always nice to see. Not everyone has a new USB keyboard. It also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight USB 2.0 ports, as well as two USB 3.0 ports on the back. It also has rear 7.1 channel audio, gigabit ethernet. It also has three eSATA ports. It also has a power for eSATA and FireWire 1394. Motherboards are basically, well, a good analogy for them is, they're, is that they're the mothership of all the parts. So they're basically home base where everything plugs in, your video card plugs in here, your hard drives plug in there, and you know, your RAM and all that. It's, it's just everything goes into it. And so basically to clean it, it's not that hard because it doesn't collect dust all that well. But they do get dusty over time, so especially in little nooks and crannies like the PCI slots and the DIMM slots and the power connectors and all of that. And especially down here in these heat sinks. And if you really wanted to go nuts, you could take the motherboard out entirely and then hit it with compressed air and then give it a once over everything with more paper towel. And basically just make sure to get every surface dust free. So motherboards used to be really small. They used to be uh, mini ITX, most of them, especially in pre-bought computers. Uh, they would come with really small motherboards. They would only be about maybe that big. And that was basically all you would need because they knew people weren't going to be opening them up and adding things to them. This is a standard ATX motherboard. This is about, this is pretty much the standard of what you have today. It's, it's fairly big, but there are way longer ones. And there's also some that are a little bit wider. So that makes for more PCI slots for people that want to do quad SLI and quad crossfire or people that have lots and lots of uh, SATA ports and all of that, they're going to want more space to plug those in. And it's just basically bigger today. But um, another thing that they used to have is basically just one or two, mostly two DIMM slots because people weren't going to be adding a lot of memory and um, didn't have these giant heat sinks because they didn't have nice power delivery systems and they didn't really have anything all that special with them because there wasn't really anything that was getting that hot that needed to be cooled or anything that wasn't uh, very important or required a lot of space on the motherboard. Thanks for watching the video. Today we showed you how to properly clean and maintain your motherboard. Next time on Sabertooth Computing, we'll be showing you the brain of your computer, the CPU. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more.